Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about and the walls come down. I'm starting to see that these years and years of trying to change a belief system, because that's what, what I've been trying to do, a uh, belief system that's founded on nonsense, basically. It, it's founded on marketing hype designed to uh, sell people who know nothing about physics and acoustics products that don't work. That's the bottom line. Boxes filled with building insulation and all that stuff. I mean, it's crazy. But I'm starting to see some changes, you know. So how do we, how do we change a belief system? We establish a new system and then we practice the truth continually over and over. And that's what I've been doing for years and years and years. And it, trying to reframe the same subject matter in a different tact, if you will, a different approach so that you know, a, a larger group of people can have a larger uh, variation in understanding. That, that's what we want. We want to make sure that we're telling, you know, everybody's going. I'm starting to see it in, in the comments on our YouTube channel. I'm starting to see people correcting people, you know, and, and uh, changing the situation. And they're acting, you know, they're acting on knowledge that they've acquired through our videos and our YouTube channels. It's very encouraging to see. Don't hesitate, please. I, I always look at the comments. If you make a comment that's not quite right, I'll correct it for you. Don't worry about it. The main thing is to get the knowledge transmitted out there and to keep repeating it and, and getting it out there. People need a long time to, to make changes in their life, especially belief system changes. But I'm starting to see that change. I'm definitely starting to see it change on the, the commercial side. They've always understand, uh, understood the importance of acoustics, but we're, we're getting uh, a, a little more of a sea change there. But of course, the consumer part is, is a favorite of mine. So that's what we want to know. Uh, I'm starting to see it with foam. Foam is an easy uh, target to pick on because <laughs> it's cheap to manufacture and marketing companies give it all, these all kinds of magical powers, you know, that it will absorb base. Well, it won't. It'll stop garbage truck noise from your bedroom. It won't. It's not a barrier. It's a sound absorption technology. You can put it in your seat cushions and it'll work. No, it won't. Because that's closed cell foam versus open cell foam. So you can see that there's a whole series of half-truths, hyperbole, exaggeration, and out-and-out -out falsehoods uh, perpetuating this stuff. So it, it's good. But people... Our understanding, you know, the, the walls are the problem. It's not just the corners. And I'm starting to see people really understand this. And this is the most important part. Pressure and reflections. If you can just wrap your head around low frequency pressure and middle and high frequency reflections. If you can just understand that par those two paradigms, you're going... You're miles ahead of everybody else. And then once you understand pressure and reflection, you'll understand why foam can't stop the garbage truck noise. It's that simple. But you got to have a premise that's based in truth. So divide it, your page, into two parts, pressure and reflection. Everything can be listed under those two things. What do we got for pressure? Modes, right? What do we got? Reflect, reflection, reverb. So you can see the, the correlation in all this kind of sticking. So the walls are kind of coming down. We're, we're starting to see some, you know, enlightenment there. It's good. People still need help with tap. Type, amount, position. So if you can understand pressure and reflections, the next step is, okay, what type of treatment? what amount and what position type so people will say foam is a bass trap no it's not it's the wrong type it can't be how much and where to put it doesn't matter if it's the wrong type that's why type is first you got to select the proper rate and level you got to select the proper technology then figuring out how much and where to put it that's a secondary concern but you got to get the type right this kind of marketing nonsense with foam, as an example, is, is a good reason why it never works, because you have the wrong type. 
to start with. So it doesn't matter how much you buy and where to put it. Well, it does to the company trying to sell it to you, probably. Thank you for your understanding and effort. Really, I appreciate it. I, I try very hard. Uh, to communicate complicated subjects, I try very hard to take the complicated and make it simple. And when I start to see people using that knowledge uh, to assist others, to help them change their belief system about acoustics, and I think it's, it's good to see. I mean, it's been 17 years. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad I see something, okay? So it's good. It's good. And I just... Thank you all for this. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep the effort up. Because if we want to keep this belief system changed, we can't let marketing hype and all this nonsense as we represent it here with foam. And this kind of nonsense paradigm pertains to everything else. Okay. So, and, and, and a treatment. You know, you just, you just have to understand that. Pressure reflections, there's the two. And the walls come down. Let's keep them coming down. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.